Hi, this is Jim Jordan with Creative Average Health, and today is December 18th, 2021. And today I want to speak to you about something that I have never spoken about on my videos. And it's a part of our personal health, uh, but bigger than that, it's a part of our personal happiness and well-being. And I believe it's the foundation of society, essentially healthy society, and that is relationships. In this case, primary relationships with a partner. Um, all relationships are important, feeling connected to our community and parents and siblings and children are all incredibly important. And from my perspective, the thing that really drives a lot of people's personal happiness is when they feel connected to another person in a primary intimate relationship. And I know that was my case um, 10 years ago. I was, I think, 51 years old and I had had a, a decade's worth of strings of short relationships, nothing more than two and a half years. And I thought I was basically, I felt for a while at least pretty successful, like I always had relationships when things got bad, I was just gone, went to the next one. But I was really not fulfilled. I was not growing in the world of in, uh, intimacy and connection and relating to, to a woman. Uh, and I realized that I, I was longing for that experience of having a real partner. Okay, and those of you that know me now know that for nine and a half years I've been in a relationship with with my partner Jewel, and but prior to that, uh, you may not know that she was my relationship coach. Um, I went to her because I really wanted to understand women better. Uh, what was it that I could do to create a relationship I wanted, and I realized I was clueless, and um, as are most people, truthfully. Uh, and that ends up creating either what I had, the string of short relationships or relationships that are unfulfilling, not very intimate or disastrous even, and ending in divorce and lots of problems. So there's all kinds of outcomes, but none of them were good. And I realized that I just didn't know what to do. I didn't understand women. I didn't understand how to communicate with women. And I was dragging along my past of you know, 30 plus years of relationships. So the first thing Jewel taught me was to how to complete my past relationships. And there might have been seven or eight of them that were significant enough that I felt I needed to complete. And she taught me a process where I could complete them and they were no longer, it was like no longer dragging along all that extra baggage. So when I met a person, I was relatively free of that past. So there's a, there's a beautiful process that she taught me that I did and it worked tremendously. And in, of course, in the process of being coached by her, I realized that I really liked her a lot. I mean, she was just hands down the smartest person I ever met in terms of how to relate to uh, the masculine, feminine, that, that dynamic. And that's an important second part of what she taught me, which was that there is an essential difference between the masculine and feminine. And any particular person could have a certain blend or percentage of masculine or feminine energies, but the vast majority of men are more masculine than feminine. The vast majority of women are more feminine than masculine. Even though women are now being taught and pushed into being more and more masculine for, for various reasons. But Essentially, underneath that conditioning is an essential, as a man relating to a woman, as essential feminine energy that we need to learn how to relate to. And it's very different than us. And the same for women, that we are not women. And our, our desires and motives and the way we interact and communicate are very different. So we need to learn that dynamic, and that's what Jewel taught me. So um, she taught me how to interact with that. And then most important, I would say, is after we, I decided that I didn't want her as my coach anymore because I wanted to date her. And she said, you know, I'll think about it. And, you know, some, you know we, I stopped seeing her as a coach, but I thought I learned enough. And later she came back to say, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go out to dinner with you. And then the rest is history, as they say. I just was very lucky to... Um, to really find someone who understood these basic skills and principles. So the next thing that was really critical to maintain a healthy relationship and to remove charge that can build up over time is to learn how to communicate in a structured way. And I'm not going to go into the actual how that structure works now, but essentially there's 
some skill sets you can develop to learn to learn how to communicate in a way where you can dissolve and dissipate charge so you don't have big breakups or fights or things like that but you can start to have more of a slowly discharging the the energy and um, anger frustration sadness or whatever that's building up and then that helps you have a better relationship more tranquil relationship a more uh, more heartfelt relationship coming more from the heart and less from the mind less from your conditioning more from your authentic self that's been my experience when i do it so what i'm speaking to you about today is essentially um the importance of learning learning skills learning uh, learning principles and the differences between the masculine and feminine and clearing up your past so you can move ahead to have a healthy committed partnership with a person this can happen this can be you know it can happen now i thought if i was 51 at the time i thought i had almost given up i said i tried so hard i thought that i was doing everything i could i met the right women who had the right interests similar to mine and i thought i was doing great but nothing ever clicked long enough usually there'd be six months or maybe a year once in a while a little longer but i really didn't i had no clue what i was doing i really didn't understand i was also dragging along all those previous relationships so those have to be completed so this is a time where we are now feeling less and less connected um, due to things that have been going on in the world less connected to our friends or family community and this is a time where a lot of people have just said, you know, I'm, I'm giving up on relationships and I, I don't, you know, forget it. I'm lucky just to be, you know, just to have a job. I understand that. But deep in your heart and deep in my heart, 11 years ago, I knew that I wanted a primary relationship that was fulfilling, that was a, a source of spiritual growth, a source of comfort and intimacy and love. And I didn't give up. And I finally got it. I got it because I worked for it. And it's available now and maybe now more than ever it's more important than ever to start by building a connection to another person that you can share your life with and from there go out to reach out to friends community and to rebuild our connection to this entire matrix of humanity which is the key to us from my perspective rising out of this um, direction society is going into which is all disconnected fragmented and controlled authoritarian control this is a way we can start to build at the grassroots level literally at the level of the person the beginning of connection and that's what jewel taught me so what i want to let people know is if you're if this resonates with you if you really if you deep in your heart you're just you really want to learn how to connect with another part with a partner and to have some and to create intimacy again that's healthy that's fulfilling that's long lasting you should Take some time and contact Jewel. Her Jewel's website is jewelbaldwin.com, J-E-W-E-L-B-A-L-D-W-I-N.com. And you can get a free introductory consultation uh, session so she can see you can see how she works with people. And it's something that I would not give up on because it's available. There are skills, there are ways to get back in the game, back connected, heart opened realizing that you can create a healthy relationship and it's available now so this is jim jordan with create vibrance health wishing you a happy holiday season